Hello Internet, hi Boson here. Uh, if you're wondering why things might look a little more darker and mysterious this week is, I normally run with three lights when filming this. One just over to here, you can see my hand on there. One at the back here for like that area and one that would be up here. But as you can see, not much light. There is a strip light as well. Because the nice big light up there just went boom! Just before filming, a very nice big crack and everything. So that I'm going to have to look into. So if anybody's wondering how the softbox light kit's getting on, one of them just went pop. I don't know what it was, whether it's got damp in here or whether there was some bug sitting across the uh, the uh, terminals as I switched it on that's now probably Kentucky Fried. I don't know. But anyway, so if you're wondering why it's a little bit more mysterious here and I'm looking a little bit more weird, Weird? Whatever, that's something. Anyway, if you were wondering why then things are looking a little different, that's the reason why. Anyway, moving on from my little technical issue there. What I wanted to go through this week was uh, just a little bit about the mythology, uh, methodology, is that the technical word? Probably. That I'm going to try and look at using for doing these uh, four different filament types against the uh, original PLA. So like I said, I have the Monster Feel Red PLA, I have the uh, Robo Savvy Grey, and I also have the um, Color Fab White. The Color Fab was the uh, standard PLA, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. And then those are going to be then the four PLA shootout against the uh, XT as well. And then as and time goes on. I will then, if I get new filaments, I will run them through the same gambit. Now, the mythology I want to do with this is I'm going to find a way and a set of various different test pieces that I want to use to be able to calibrate each filament to get the best out of them. So, things for like getting the best uh, bed temperatures, for getting the best head temperatures, uh, feed rates, retractions things like that so I'm going to be hunting through I've already found a couple of little things online looking through like for getting the uh, head temperature right which was a uh, person down like a very tall hollow box uh, about 100 mil high if I remember rightly and every like one centimeter 10 mil it changed he changed the G code so as it was raising up it was um, then lowering the temperature or raising it whichever way around it was I can't remember right off the top of my head right now and then that way you could see exactly where the sweet spot was temperature wise for that filament so what I'm looking for is test methods and things for helping get the right temperature on the bed things for getting the right uh, feed rates and what have you of all of these so if any of you people have videos or th things like that you can link to. I prefer videos if possible because I'm not the world's best reader. Uh, if I hit a page of text like this I just hit a wall and that's the reason why I like doing videos for people because I know what I'm like. If I have a giant big page of descriptive of how to do something my brain just goes no, no, you're not having it, no. So that's why I love videos and that's why YouTube has been a great thing for me and that's why I'm trying to put back to YouTube. So if any of you people find any good videos or anything like that out there uh, that go through some really good methodologies for trying to hit those sweet spots on the filament, please hit me up in the uh, comment section below. I can't promise I'll use all of them or whatever, but I'll root through and find which one seems to work best for myself. Um, and then once I have all that figured out, I can then before I do all the comparison, I can do a video of exactly which techniques I'm using to calibrate the uh, printer for each and individual filament. That way, anybody else that's out there trying to then hopefully dial in their filaments or whatever the printer they're using, hopefully I'll be able to, get, be able to give them a nice kind of all-in-one gambit of this is the techniques I use to calibrate one of these every time I have to find uh, the new sweet spot because I know that when the time comes I'm then going to start a book with all of these listed in I might number them up or something so once I find all the sweet spots and all the uh, 
the nice settings for each filament i can then keep a track of them so when i suddenly went oh i want to swap from this to this i can just grab my little notebook and then punch in the exact settings i need and off i'll go so that's what i want to do another video that'll be coming up in two three four weeks i don't exactly know when uh is i last week uh, i managed to actually go to the youtube space in london uh i have a friend who is a fellow youtuber and they are on the comedy parody scene and what have you there and impressions and etc his name's phil philip green and so i went to help him out filming his we're thinking it's going to be the halloween special we don't i'm not 100 percent sure it depends what happens with editing and etc but while I was there, I vlogged the whole experience, so there will be a vlog coming up. So once his main video is released, and he's also got a vlog from the day as well, uh, I will be putting a vlog up here so you can see my adventures in the YouTube space in London. If you can help me out with uh, these here, I would really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, hit me up in the comments below. I've got a few, like I said, that I already know that I want to try. The more that I can look at, the more ideas I can get, the more the easier it should hopefully be for me to narrow down exactly uh, the gambit of tests that I need to do to dial these in. And then that way I can repeat the same gambit every time for every roll. So then it is going to be as true as possible. Apples to apples comparison of the differences between the uh the filament anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh if you liked it you know do the usual thumbs up etc um feel free to hit me up on twitter at hybosan and i will see you again next week